Lambda supports two types of deployment packages, zip archives and container images. Lambda container image support enables you to pair the flexibility and familiarity of container tooling with the operational simplicity of Lambda for greater agility when building your applications. When using container images to build your functions, you define your container image using the OCI spec, like a Docker file. Building your functions as container images has a number of benefits. You get to use your familiar container tooling that you already have in your container world to build Lambda applications. This includes tools like the Docker CLI, your build and CI CD pipelines, container security scanning, and other governance tools. Dependency management works the same as other container systems. You build an immutable artifact from a Docker file where you manage all your dependencies to build your images exactly the way you like them. You can also use your preferred Linux base image, not only Amazon Linux. As container images are immutable, you can feel confident that your functions are consistent across any environment you deploy them to. With this immutability does come some more responsibility. AWS can't perform automatic OS and runtime updates and patching. Any change to the image requires a separate redeployment step, which you need to add to your operational procedures. You can run larger workloads on Lambda as the deployment package size is now 10 gig for container images. We optimize and cache the loading of the images to reduce cold starts. And with portability, you can more easily run the same code packaged as a container image in many locations, Lambda, ECS, EKS, or on-prem. You build your images and push them up to Amazon Elastic Container Registry, ECR, which is a fully managed container registry. Lambda provides a variety of curated base images for each runtime, which includes the code to make it work with Lambda. This is what a basic Docker file looks like. It's using an AWS-provided Node.js base image, copying your function code, installing dependencies, and setting the handler method. So seeing the workflow in action. I have the same Docker file I showed before with a simple Hello World Lambda function. I use Docker build to build the function, giving it a name and tag. I can then use Docker run to run the container locally to test the functionality. This runs a local Lambda emulator, which is included as part of the Lambda base image. In another terminal, I can then curl this local endpoint to invoke the function and see the Hello World result. I then need to upload the image to ECR. I first use Docker tag to set the image information and then Docker push to push up the image. I could now head to the Lambda console and create the function from the ECR image, but I can also use the AWS CLI in my terminal to create the Lambda function, specifying the package type as image and pointed to my ACR image. I can then invoke the function in the cloud and see the results of my hello world. Building Lambda functions as container images can give you a lot of flexibility and control with your function images and lets you use the container tooling you are already familiar with.